Here at this Northern Niagara Falls Park, I'm surrounded by several beautiful oak trees. But trees like these are facing a potentially catastrophic threat. For the first time, a fungus called oak wilt has been detected in Canada and experts are fighting to prevent the spread of it. Billed as the gateway to Canada, something more concerning has made its way into Niagara Falls, Oak Wilt. It's an area not far from Fireman's Park. An arborist called to remove three dead trees in late May reported finding the fungus. At this point, there's no cure for Oak Wilt. Once a tree becomes infected, it will die. Nicole Mialfacek at the Canadian Food Inspection Agency on why this needs to be taken seriously since infected trees will need to be cut down. Red oaks are very popular throughout Ontario. In fact, it was just last year when oaks were named the official tree of Toronto. These types of trees are all across the city. So how did this fungus end up here in Canada? So we don't have a leading theory at this point. The closest confirmed detection is around 150 kilometers away in New York State. There's speculation that pathogens could have arrived in firewood or other natural materials brought a long distance, something that's strongly advised against. Once oak wilt is present, sap beetles flying a short distance can spread spores to other trees. The fungus can also travel through interconnected tree roots nearby. Trees damaged by lawn equipment or through other means make it easier for spores to get in. So experts say be careful while working outside and avoid pruning trees between April and August at the minimum. I think the main thing right now is just to really learn about the signs and symptoms of oak wilt and to just monitor the health of your oak trees. Madison Sturba at the Invasive Species Centre is encouraging people to look for signs. Experts say the biggest one is a smell coming from the tree, described as being like juicy fruit gum or fermented fruit wine. Other indicators are browning and wilting leaves, they have premature leaf drop and that can completely defoliate a tree. Uh, in fact, the trees also have vertical bark cracks. Meanwhile, staff with CFIA and other government entities say this is still new and is limited for now, but monitoring has ramped up. CFIA, working with partners, are going to do follow-up surveys to determine if additional oak wilt infected trees are present in the area. If you want to know more about oak wilt, we'll have details at citynews.ca about an online information session happening on Thursday. In Niagara Falls, Nick Westall, City News.